2009, wood dust was added to California's Proposition 65 list as a substance known to the state of California to cause cancer. Many workers across the nation are exposed to wood dust at sawmills, wood processing facilities, and during construction and renovation activities. Wood dust can be created when wood is cut, drilled, sanded, machined, or processed. Wood dust has several hazards associated with exposure in the workplace. Wood dust becomes a potential health problem when the wood particles become airborne. Breathing these particles may cause allergic respiratory symptoms, mucosal and non-allergic respiratory symptoms, irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat, pulmonary function impairment, and even cancer. Western red cedar dust has also been shown to cause asthma. The health effects associated with wood dust come not only from the wood dust itself, but also from biological organisms, such as mold, which can grow on the wood. Chemicals used in the processing of some woods are yet another health risk. In addition to the health effects of wood dust, airborne dust can create the potential for a dust explosion. Significant accumulations of fine particles of wood dust can result in a fire hazard and explosion risk. There are a number of ways to check the workplace for airborne wood dust. However, the only way to be certain of excessive exposure levels is to monitor the air for wood dust and compare the results with the relevant occupational exposure levels. Several organizations have set standards or given recommendations for wood dust exposure. These include OSHA, NIOSH, and the American Conference of Government Industrial Hygienists. To learn more about wood dust hazards and other indoor air quality and health and safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.